Hello everyone, and today I've got a new engine. This engine, as you can probably tell, is indeed a Sterling engine, but it is a bit different to the other ones that you've seen on my channel. This is actually two Sterling engines connected together via a generator. It's a design, and um, it's quite impressive actually what they've done. Now this engine has been sent to me to review and look at by a company called Engine Kitor. I'm going to put a link to their shop in the pinned comment below so you can have a look at the engine. So I'm now going to show you what comes with the engine when you buy it. So obviously you get the engine as standard so it comes like this. In the back, tucked in this little cubby hole here, you have this box. And in this box are the two burners which you use to power the engine. And then also you come with this light bulb with some crocodile clips on. And what these do, these clip onto these wires that hang off here and then these, the engine hopefully powers a light when it works. So we're going to have a close look at this engine and the build quality of it now. So as you can see it's just a simple generator with a long shaft going through it which is connected to two pulleys either side of it. And these pulleys connect to the engine via these rubber belts, quite sturdy belts as well, plenty of tension in them. Now what I quite like is that if you want to just run one of the two engines, you can just disconnect it from the generator and you can run one of the engines solo. However, if you want to run it as a twin engine, you can leave it connected and the generator will help connect the two engines together. I quite like this, then you have options. One thing I always like about Stirling engines, or the most of the Stirling engines that are available on the market, is how simple they are. Now this engine is very easy to disassemble because for example, the cranks here are only held on using bits of silicon at the end. You can just slide these off, pop the crank off, and replace the piston if you want to, do any modifications you might want to. It's just very simple. So they're very good beginner engines if you're looking to get into the model engineering world and want a very simple engine that you can play with and have an experiment around with it. This next feature is something that I really like. The cylinders are actually metal. They're not glass, like on other Stirling engines. So there isn't the risk of them breaking or shattering. So, for example, if you're a bit clumsy and you accidentally drop it, it's not going to smash all over the place, and then when you go pick it up, it's not going to hurt your hands, which is I really like. Now, that's enough of me going on about the features of this engine. I think it's time we get it running. So, I'm going to show you how you get this engine running, and what it's like to run it. Now, as the fuel for the burner, you can use many different alcoholic liquids. I'm using methyl spirits. So, all I do is take a pick cover off, and then I'm going to fill this syringe here with some methyl spirits. So now I'm going to take the burners out of their box and we're going to fill the burners up with methyl spirits and get them lit. Okay now, so I'm going to use a funnel to put some methyl spirits in the burner. We don't need a lot. That should do. There we go, lovely and put the rest back in the bottle. Now I'm going to run this engine on a non-flammable surface because you are dealing with fire I can't recommend that you run this on a flammable surface just for your own safety. It's up to you how you run it but for your own safety I recommend running it on a surface like this. This is a cooker so something like that will do nicely. So now I'm going to just pull the wicks out a bit like so. You can pull the wicks out to just how much flame you want up for your engine. So now they're sorted out, we can get the burner lit. There we go. So I'll make sure the burners are centred under the cylinders and leave the engine for a few minutes to slowly warm up and get ready to run. So we're going to give it a go now. And off it goes. As you can see, it is a quite high speed engine. Now what I'm going to do now is blow the fire out so I can connect the generator to it. You see there now, even with the fire blown out, because the cylinder is metal, it's retaining that heat and running for longer. Okay, so now we've got the engine warmed up and ready to run, we're going to connect this generator to it. So what you do, I'll show you how to connect it up now. So on these wires there's a black wire and a red wire. The red clip here needs to go onto the red wire. 
like this. So red onto red like that. And then the black clip needs to go onto the black clip. The black clip needs to go on the black wire like this as well. And make sure they don't touch, they don't short circuit. So now we can fire it up again and power the generator. So now I've got the light connected and we're going to let the engine start to run. And I put the lights off so that you can see the light slowly turn on as the engine builds up power. It might take a while for it to get up to speed now because it has got a load on it, so it needs more power and more RPM to make things work. So, so now I've got the fire lit and we've got the light connected up to the generator. And what I'm going to do now is start the engine. And it's going to take more energy to start this time because the engine's got a load on it. So it needs more power to be able to run. But we're going to give it a go now and see how it goes. It's running now and the light's on straight away. Look at that. That's a pretty good light as well. I'm pretty impressed by that. You see, it lights up the engine very well. You can you hear the RPM fluctuating as it needs more power to run. Okay everyone, so that is the twin cylinder Stirling engine by Engine Kitor, and I am very impressed. Um, it takes a lot for me to get impressed by these um, small Stirling engines, but this one is clearly very well made and it runs perfectly. Other ones I've had, they maybe run for only a few times and they won't run again. They struggle to get going. This one, all you do is light it, give it a few minutes, spin the flywheel and off it goes. I am really impressed by it. I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment and the description where you can get this. And, you know, I really do recommend getting it. It is actually a very nice little engine. So thank you so much to Engine Kit All for sending me this little engine. It's going to make a very nice addition to my collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.